Okay, so you find the controls in the utilities where sampling and everything else is. Yep, right here. Once you found the propulsion system, let's try it out. But remember, it uses oxygen. Be careful. When you've got the hang of it, let's try to cross the northern rift. Okay. What? Okay. Time before activation. Okay. Okay, so these are the rotors. Good to go. I don't know. Did that work? Okay. It seems to be just sort of a a yes no thing for right now. back here maybe it's up this way oh it's probably that dot oh no Impressive. This split in the shelf is incredibly wide and deep. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Start up the propulsion system and let's cross. Okay. Strong currents. Already wasted about oh, almost half of our oxygen. Oh, there's something on the other side. A huge green cloud rising up from the shelf. Uh oh. That must be the balloon. We can stop, right? Yeah. Green cloud. Oh, bloom edge. Oh, is this the bloom up here? Okay. Uh, the green wall of a vast bloom of some kind rises up ahead, swirling and obscure. I'm not sure that's something we should, like, go into. Know what I mean like we are alone down here on an alien planet uh, with the only other person that we are aware should be here is missing so being careful is probably good uh, the bloom what ecological crisis spawned this green mass how is it connected to the reef if the answers are anywhere they are inside <sighs> of course they are of course they are Okay. The water inside is totally anoxic. The suit's rebreather can't function. Yeah, we're losing oxygen quick, man. We'll have to run on reserve oxygen while we are inside this place. Yeah, I don't think we can do that, man. We don't have a ton of... Now we have, like, almost none, but... All right. Let's see... What we can do. I don't have a lot of time here. What is this? There's life still hanging on the inside. This toxic bloom creating safe zones in order to thrive. Oh, okay. 
Perhaps these creatures can help us learn how to exist in these toxic conditions. Sounds great to me. Little resting point. Uh, let's take some samples and see what effects they have on the bloom when we deploy them. Okay. Ooh, colony, 7%. Fan dust. Bloom oxygenating dust harvested from filtering fan. Oh. Interesting. Pale fan. These pale, f delicate fans are almost bone white against the clouded green of the bloom. These fans seems, seem to be re-oxygenating the water. I'll start logging notes. They should be useful. No doubt. So, okay. How big? I think it's like an area the size of that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, not a super long time frame. Good to know. Certainly useful, um, although I'm sure not as useful as it we were hoping for. Occasionally, <laughs> occasionally this fan shivers, uh, releasing a flurry of green growths that have gathered among its gossamer spines. Bivalve creature. Oh. There's some kind of shelled creature hiding in the silt over there. We need to figure out how to tempt it out of its burrow. Perhaps a sample from elsewhere in the balloon? Something that reacts with the microbial growth itself. Interesting. Okay. Gonna be a little bit of a waste of... Not much, huh? Okay. Normally I'd sit down and read these uh, descriptions a little bit longer, but kind of running low on oxygen much quicker than I anticipated. I don't really want to be sitting out here in the just losing oxygen at a rapid pace. These fans have to be filtering the water of the bloom to feed. Behind each one is a small area of clear oxygenated water. True. Creatures bury themselves to hide from the bloom's toxicity, making them one of the few life forms that can survive the bloom. Green storm. To the north, uh, the bloom whips around in cycles of heavy growth, like a thunderhead forming. Ooh. Also, I appreciate, like, the tick marks on our radar here, kind of, like, vibrating. Used rocks? Oh. Corroded shelf. Lots of, uh... Not so healthy sounding names going on right here. Okay, we're getting a little far. We'll get more. Hmm. Going a little bit out of our depth in this area, unfortunately. 
If only because bloom vein, because of this oxygen depletion. These strange little little creatures are getting a big name. Bivalve bloom veins. What do you think? Sounds great. I like it too. We can log them into the taxonomy back at the base. We sure can. Continuing deeper into these toxic waters. Okay, so we're kind of in a position right now. Okay. I was like, we might actually die for the first time. These strange forms scattered around inside the bubble, are these skeletons? They resemble radiolorian radio radiolarians, but far bigger in scale. They're incredibly ornate. A colony of shattered domes lying in the sil silvery silt. What were these creatures? I don't know. Let's go take a sample. Crystal cylinders. Within the open structure of these nests, swarms of glinting particles form shifting shapes. Go over there and give it a shot, take some samples. Okay. It reacted to us. 10% animal. These colonies do well to hold out against the bloom. The individual creatures seem to be able to digest the microbial growth. We can use this. We should try deploying a colony to see if we can create our own safe zone in tide. Ah, okay. Okay. Is it going to be uh, permanent, though? Super cool. Also, are we going to waste... We're not gonna bring one back to the base just yet. These swarms of bright creatures provide vital safe zones in the bloom. Let's start logging the data on them. Uh, within these complex transparent structures, the blurred activities, oh, wow, okay, interesting. Uh, it's just like semi unnerving to watch it, just kind of like everything in the screen ooh, rippling out. Uh, within these complex transparent structures, the blurred activity of many individual creatures can be seen. These must be nests. Okay, let, before we go too far north, let's, let's head back this way and see what we got. I feel like we kind of skipped a little bit. Yeah, I, I know. Yes? No? Okay. We're still screwed. Like, we're definitely not going to make it back to base at this point. Oof. Okay, well... Hey guys, we're gonna find out what dying is like in this game. You heard it here, folks. I can't. What's going on? The suit is shutting down. Pilot at risk. Operator override active. Aha, uh -huh. locating safe zone, safe zone, located rebooting. Okay. So it's gonna take us back to a waypoint or a way station. Wonderful lose any story progress. What happened? Are you back online? Yeah, I'm here. Good. I think the suit's preservation protocols kicked in. It brought us back to, to this way station. I was lucky. Please, I need you to keep an eye on oxygen and power. Let's not do that again. Listen, you're the one who wants to go into the toxic place. Now, where were we? We were going into the toxic place, the place you're not supposed to go into, and the place that made this happen. Let's go back real quick. I want to see what some of our side quests are. Just so, see if we can get a couple more 
things under our belt before we go back into the bloom. Okay. So we can head south and get the reef stock, spore, zing stock, bark. Oh, this is like right there too. Oh, we can actually, we can get across that rift much more easily now too. And we can get these three. Let's go for these three. We're gonna go for the root, a tissue, growth. A little bit of, uh, slightly less chaotic forward momentum, hopefully. Not sure how useful these are going to be in our travels, but it's certainly worth a shot. Oh, we need to start up our thing here. Now we can go. Is it just that we're not supposed to go that far yet? Hmm. Oh, no, we can't go that way. Oh, it just doesn't go anywhere? Okay. here. Yeah. Oh, do we have to go down? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. This is the new spot here. Exposed roots. A cave-in has severed some sections of the stock's root network, stretching down from the forest above. What can they tell us? Yes, what can they tell us? 30% fungal, 0% tissue. Not sure why we need to know that it's 0% tissue, but nonetheless. Oh, okay, just the two. Cool. Uh, 
don't really need the sampling just yet. Oh, we still have that. Okay. That'll be useful for getting back. So this is sort of like, it's sort of a roguelite element uh, to it to a certain extent, right? Like you can keep your inventory when you die, which provided, you know, we have something that's extremely valuable for the area that we were trying to traverse, like the um, <clears throat> colonies that create the oxygen bubbles, you know, can give you a leg up in terms of hopefully getting a little bit further next time around. That's cool. I like that. I think we need that sampling just yet. Right, okay. Let's... Wow, that took a much larger chunk of oxygen. Ooh. No? Hmm. Vector blocked. Curious. What is it blocked by? I thought we would be able to... Reverse that now. Huh. Okay. What do we got for samples? Just some more shriek. Real sacks. Okay. Let's get some oxygen back. And a little bit of power. Oh, that's right. It doesn't give us any power. Okay, well, we'll get some power later, I'm sure. Hmm. Interesting. Did we already miss? Maybe this is where we can get it? I don't know. Take a look. That's oh, more signal. But also fungal? I don't know. Yeah. Already got those. Hmm. I wish we had a map. I wonder if that's what this is going to be. Would kind of make sense for the game to just not have a map because I feel like it's very, uh, so exploration based that kind of the point is to get a little bit lost I get that I mean is there anything to say it's a shrill sack we could use one more I guess Um, let's use our jetpacks. Hmm, so it's blocked. Doesn't matter. Even though we've got the jetpack, we still can't go that route. It's just locked. Okay. It's not really worth it, though, is it? So far, it is not. Oh, we can't because we're underground. Yeah, I think we're underground. Hmm. Not underground, underground, but just sort of like we're we're deeper into the ocean than uh, our drone will go. Our drone will only go at that kind of like the base Z level, like Z level zero, um, and we're Z level negative one right now ok 
getting through the cave really is the other thing though okay. we've got some oxygen stuff we can do now let's just go back to base <laughs> uh, we did get one new sample and that's cool we'll see what that looks like when we get back to base Oh man, like the screen gets brighter and like my eyes have to readjust. Okay. Let's go back to base. Let's deposit the... Let's deposit the one thing that we just found. I don't want to get rid of the like bigger colony one. That's going to be super helpful for us later. Right. Uh, oh, we can actually do two. That's a good point. No, we can't. Doesn't allow that. Interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, it is. Okay. Cool. Oh, but we can take these back out. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go get these analyzed. Okay, she, Dr. Ellery is down here analyzing some stuff with us. Reef cap, sweet. Oh, we haven't finished taxonomy on that front. Okay. We don't have like an official entry for those creatures, so we can't. Can't do it just yet. Um, who did we get? The reef stock. We got a theory. Wait. Ah, they are in fact uh, a part of a symbiote, a different fungal species entirely, which exists within the stock's bodies. Wow. Okay. The reef cap. Ah, we got some behavior. Nice. Don't seem to be. Oh. The sued spores don't seem to be spores at all. Oh, they can't reproduce. Huh. I guess they just transfer calcium to... around to the various other spores, essentially. Just around the colony. This is the thing that we just found, the bivalve bloom vein. Cool. What's up here in the hab? Oh, crew terminal. Oh, okay. We've got a captain's log. Nice. This is for user Ellery Vass. I wonder if we'll be able to find captain's logs for other users. Binet is gone, and she's left behind one hell of a mess. This base is falling apart, cannibalized to build way stations out in the ocean, and the communications array sliced away, life support failing. Where did she even commandeer this research base from? There's no way Baikal... Yeah, Baikal would have supplied it willingly after what she did to them. What did she call me out here for? To witness her disappearance? Or did she simply want me to encounter, as she did, the impossible life of this ocean? How could it have been gone ignored for hundreds of years of exploration and conquest? There are too many questions to even begin. All I can do is keep an account of what happens here. So what if I can't answer these questions? Someone else might. It'll be weeks, maybe months, until the next ship passes close enough to pick up my shuttle transponder until then i'm alone this place is unbelievably important our first contact with life beyond earth but something else is happening here too i need to know what it is okay uh Monet's suit opened to the ocean empty what has she done i'm trying hard to reconcile 
the Minet I once knew with the evidence in front of me. When I met her on Kepler 62F, she was intense and quiet, but calculated, intelligent. She wasn't someone to take unnecessary risks to leap into the unknown. At first, I found her impossibly intimidating. Her experience working as a biologist far outstripped my own. My call brought me to the site as a consultant to examine her discoveries, but I felt like the one under examination. The base was much like this one, a smaller, older model sunk in a subglacial ocean. Someone might think a relationship was inevitable, given those intimate conditions, but it wasn't the base that brought me to her, it was that intensity. Over the few years, I've tried not to dwell on what happened on Kepler-62F, but being here, living where she has lived, following her scattered steps, it's impossible not to remember. Huh. So we've got a murder mystery, potentially. We've got the fact that we are how. And we've got the fact that there's a uh, a bit of a Um, and we've got the fact that there, uh, there's a little bit of a love story in the background here as well. All right. Let's set out into the bloom one more time. 